Hi, this is Matthias from Solidify. Today we're going to take a look at how to install and configure at scale in your organization. So at scale is installed as an extension to your Azure DevOps organization. And then you uh, configure it for the projects where you want to use it. So in this demo, we'll show you how to install the extension, how to set up a subscription, add licenses to users, and then configure the extension in your project. So to do this, we click on Browse Marketplace and search for Scale. When we see the extension page, we click on Get. And from this information page, we get to select in which Azure DevOps organization we want to install the extension. And in this case, it's to solidify Scale organization where I want to have this one installed. And once it's installed, we can proceed to the organization to take the next step. And the next step will be to activate at scale. So when it's been installed, the next step is to create a subscription. And the easiest way to do this is to navigate to boards. And then at scale has been installed under the boards menu. And the first time we load at scale, it will prompt you that there is no subscription. So to create one, we can click on Manage Subscription, and then we get navigated over to the admin view in Azure DevOps. So this is an organization settings, and at the very left bottom, we see the installed extensions and can manage the admin part of this extension. So we get presented the different options we can try and buy at scale. So currently we have three different tiers, the team level, the business, and the enterprise tier. And there are also two different options. You can opt for a free trial, or if you're confident that you're going to use at scale, you can start a subscription right away. So in this case, we want to show you how to set up a quick trial. So I'm going to pick the business tier, select free trial. Uh, the system picks up the current user. In this case, I'm Bob and also the email for that user. And make sure to provide a good email in case we want to communicate with you. This is the email that we will use. You will also see grayed out the name of the organization that we will associate this subscription with. And that's all you need to do. Click on Start Free Trial, and now a trial subscription has been created for you. Next, we're going to add the users who will use at scale. And there are two ways to do this. We can use the admin view we're at, click on licenses and add users just the way that we're used to do when we manage users and permission in Azure DevOps. So let's say I want to add Alice or uh, Anna to this project. Then uh, I search for the user, select the role. Uh, we have three different roles. A contributor, which is a regular user of the product, a project administrator who can customize the boards and the settings in the project, and an extension administrator who can configure the extension in the project. So let's say Anna is uh, a project administrator. There is also a second option, and this is the way end users without a license will see things. So if I navigate back to my project, and select scale. If I don't have a license for at scale, it will prompt me for one. So in this case, I get the no license screen and I can request a license. If I do so, the request is sent to the system and an administrator will have to approve the license for the user to use it. So then if I want to do this, um, I put on the hat as an administrator. I go back to the org settings, find at scale. And now if I link over to licenses, I see um, a small tile next to add users. And this indicates that there are pending requests for ac access to at scale. And in this case, I want to give Bob uh, the rights as an extension administrator so we can configure the extension in the project. 
So this is what we need to do to ensure that users can access at scale. And this is the way we can control which users are going to use at scale and which are not. So the final thing that we want to look at in order to start using at scale is to configure at scale in your project. So again, we go back to the project and select at scale. And now the third time we do this, we have first installed the extension, we have created a subscription, and we have added licenses to the users of the extension. So this time everything is set up, but the project hasn't been configured for at scale yet. So what we need to do now is to start the configuration. If you want to learn more about what it actually does, you can check out the documentation from this link here. But essentially, we're going to add the missing pieces that we need to provide uh, a good tooling to support Agile at scale in Azure DevOps. So we will add some additional work item types that defines your uh, Agile release train, your program increments, your objectives and risks. And this is done by starting the configuration. And then we can select one of the pre-baked ones. And currently it's very easy. We only have one. Um, and this is a process for, for uh, the safe way of working. If you want to customize it, you could download this file from the link that points to a public repository and then customize it and upload your own process. But in this case, we want to use the standard one we click Next. In this step, the, the configuration asks me about a name for a customized Azure DevOps process that we will create for you. And this is done because we detected that this pro project doesn't already have a customized process. If it has, we will extend that process for you. But if it's using a system process, like in this case, the Agile process, we will create an inherited process and add our stuff to it. And I'll leave the safe as a, a default name, but you can add your name if you have a better than, example than, than this one. Then in the final step, you will get the summary of what we will do in your process. So like you can see here, we're going to add a couple of work item types, one for an agile release train, one for a program increment, PI objective and risk. And this is all that we do at this point. We click on save. And at this point, we go and create the inherited process and add these four work item types, the additional fields and states. And now you've seen how to install and configure at scale. Next videos, we will check out how to actually start using it. Thanks for watching.